I've been intrigued by the retro controllers from Polymega for a while now. They make them for various systems, and sure, they're meant to be used with the modules for the Polymega, but as they use the original port, they can be used for their respective systems as well, or even clone hardware, if clone hardware exists for whatever system the controller is. One that I really wanted to check out was the Turbo Retro Controller, the RC04, if you will. This is the PC Engine Turbo Graphic style six button controller. Now, this thing cost me 29 bucks, and I figured, you know what, comparing it to an Avenue Pad 6, which I do have a couple of these. Awesome controllers, getting a little pricey though. Sometimes they're not in great shape as they're so old. Figured, you know what, having like a decent six button you know, substitute for that could be pretty cool. So that's why I wanted to check it out. There's the back of the box, turbocharged. I'm not gonna read all that nonsense. Proved comfort, meant for the module, whatever. Um, but yeah, this was 29 bucks, which I figured was a decent deal. But these mofos, oh my God, their shipping is redonkulous. For a freaking controller that doesn't even weigh a pound, even boxed, packaged up, doesn't weigh a pound. They charge $15 to ship this thing to me. They're one hour away from me. One hour. This thing should have been less than $5 shipped, you know, first class, but whatever. You know, they put it in a bag too. It wasn't in a box or anything. Uh, it just, I guess, you know, profiting off of shipping. I, they got to do what they got to do, I guess. I, was, I just thought that was nuts, man. I'm not sure if you order multiples, if it's just a flat shipping fee, but yeah, $15 for one is kind of, kind of nuts. But let's get this thing out. I have not used it yet. I remember looking at pictures of these. I've never actually seen one, and I loved the way they looked and how all their controllers have this like uh, braided cable. Like they look freaking quality. They do look. Oh, wow, they lick. No, they. I, I'm not gonna lick this, but they they look quality. It feels pretty good too. Very like similar size to the Avenue Pad Six. What kind of screws does this use? Yeah, I'll, I'll open this up in a second, actually. But very similar, similar in the functionality. Uh, the two button, six button mode on the Polymega version, just like uh, we have, where is it on here? The A and B mode. And then like in the Avenue Pad 6, you have like auto fire for button one and two. And then like a slow mode, like who really cares about that? Nobody uses slow mode, at least I don't. And then same thing here with the, uh, looks like the, uh, the turbo modes. And then that's it. Feels pretty good, a little, a little, a little stiff, but it's a new controller. Not too bad. Let's take a look at the uh, actual cable here. Pretty nice, I'll, I'll leave that on there for now. But uh, the port, the plug is for the PC engine. If you wanna use this on Turbo Graphics, you will have to get like an additional adapter. So you have to keep that in mind. Very long cable, how long is this freaking cable? Holy crap, I'll have to look it up, but that's like gotta be like a 10 foot cable. That's, that's a long cable, very nice, very nice. Doesn't look like there's any kinks or anything for the most part, uh, I, I don't know, it looks, it looks quality. But let's plug this thing in, test it out real quick. Okay, so there we go, Core Graphics with the Terra Onion Super HD System 3. Recently did a video on all this. Take a look if you haven't checked it out, but here we go. What do I have it on? Okay, I have it on six button mode. Let me make sure it actually functions in here. PC Engine Hue cards. Let's find a Street Fighter. So the, uh, the D-pad feels very similar to the Avenue Pad 6, which feels pretty good. If you're accustomed to PC Engine controllers, this doesn't feel bad. Everything's responding extremely well. Like I said, a, a little stiff on the membranes, but I'm not really gonna knock it for it. Like, they don't feel bad. Ah, oh, shit.
Got him. So there, there's that. Overall, I feel like it is a decently comfortable controller. I barely, just for this video, took it out of the box, but it does have like some scuffs and scratches on the plastic, which I don't really like. I don't know why. I mean, like, I don't know if you can even see any of that, but yeah, there's some little scuffs and scratches on here. So it doesn't like, it feels like I bought this out of a Ziploc bag from GameStop type of thing, uh, but it feels fine. It looks good other than the little blemishes on this thing. I mean, just minor nitpicks, but it's there. Like, I'm sure, like, on the glare, the, you know, you could see the little scuff up there. It was like that, and I took it out of the box. The hell, Polly Schmegma? Damn, but okay, let's go ahead and tear this thing down. Take a look at the inside real quick. Okay, so it looks like we have six screws. Let's go ahead and get in there. Okay, so there we go. I feel like this was like hand put together or something like sloppily because like by each of the screw holes, like I just see scratches around all of them. Like I feel like whoever put these, like these were just, yeah, you know, whatever. Oh, there's weights in here. <laughs> there are weights on the butt cheeks. Okay, I mean, that gives this a little time. Like, I was surprised I took it out. I was like, why does this feel so heavy? It's just plastic. It's because it's got a few weights, two of them. Looks like there's a spot for another one, but they just put two. Not bad, doesn't, you know, not a huge deal. All right, so there's the connector for the cable. Polymega logo down there, 2020 Play Maji, made in China. Oh, and we are, um, we are screwed in there, three screws, got to get that out to see the other side. Take a look at the membranes and uh, the slider action, if those look similar to originals. Okay, there, there we go. I feel like I, I don't really, oh, they glued that in, didn't they? You freaking bastards, dude. They, they glued in the connection. Well, I'll, I'll just flip it around. Okay. Uh -oh, okay, so there's the sliders. It's not like the uh, the original PC Engine pad where it's actually like part of that, part of the other side, and it just slides on the pad down there. This is like built into it. Um, essentially, it's doing the same thing. It's just part of that whole housing down there. So it's making that connection there. Same thing with the mode select. And then our uh, select and run button. The actual conductive pads here. It's a little bit of residue there. Some stickiness going on here. But there, there's the conductive pad. It does seem a little like thin. It's really sticky for some, for some strange reason. This thing is sticky. <laughs> what did you do to my controller? There's some sticky, sticky stick action on there too. Uh, I mean, this is like, the pad doesn't seem horrible, but it also seems like really thin. Mm, I, I don't know. Hopefully it, hopefully it holds up. I mean, the rest of the controller seems decent quality. And I mean, I'm not saying this, uh, membrane is horrible, but it, it, it does seem cheaper than a lot of others that I've used. Got to pull the, uh, the membrane back through the holes. Come on, focus. But yeah, there's the, uh, the D-pad membrane. Really thin as well. Hopefully it holds up. I mean, there's not much else I could say about it. Yeah. You know, is it a quality membrane? I, I don't know. I feel like it's not, but... I think people will probably say, no, it's, no, it's a high quality membrane. I, I'm not a membrane scientist, all right? But I have dealt with tons of membranes and this does seem like a cheap membrane. I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Come on now, get off my nuts. As, as long as it does its job. But doing its job also means holding up. There's the... Uh, actual d-pad not much to say about it shiny on one side 
Let's take out a button. There you go. Standard standard button action. Very nice. Not a bad controller. Um, say what you will about it. I, I don't think it's a horrible controller. Uh, I'm happy that I grabbed it. I mean, I only grabbed it really to check it out and let you guys hear about it and see about it because I do already have the Avenue pads. Um, so not a, not a huge deal to me, but yeah, I just wanted to see how this, this felt, how it seemed. And it's it's not too bad. God, there's so there's like a stickiness everywhere. Crazy. But if you're interested, Polymega, they do sell all these controllers and they are shipping them like within a day or two after you ordering it. So it's not like the actual system where you never know when you're gonna get it. These you should like have them shipped to you within a couple days of ordering it. So just just an FYI. Let me know what you think. Do you need like six button controllers for your PC engine? Is this something you're looking for? Uh, I know there are other options out there. Some that I don't trust too much. Some that are just like, you know, whatever. Um, I tend to try to stick with the originals as often as I can, but I thought this would be a, a pretty good suitable replacement. And it doesn't seem bad. Few little quality control issues aside with uh, scuffing and scratching. I, I don't think it's bad, but that, that shipping charge is definitely freaking ridiculous, man. So there you go, the Poly Mega Turbo Controller. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Give you a big ass thumb butt, blurry like a Bigfoot. Bye bye and boom. Bye.